Hello, I'm Chris Woodley Stewart, Director of the North Pennines AOMB Partnership, and today I'm going to briefly showcase T Swale Naturally Connected, a joint five year programme led by the North Pennines AOMB Partnership with the Yorkshire Dales National Park Authority, supported by the National Lottery Heritage Fund with a grant of £5.8 million. T Swale puts farming at the heart of nature recovery and nature recovery at the heart of farming. High nature value farming is critical for upland biodiversity and habitats and, the and farming is a vital part of our communities. We take our inspiration from making space for nature and John Lawton chairs our board, but it also builds on work we've done on HMV farming over several years. On the map here, the darker the area, the greater the habitat connectivity. North Pennines and the Yorkshire Dales are the best connected, least fragmented green infrastructure network in the country, whilst it might be well connected. It's not always in good condition, and we all know we could be doing much more for nature recovery in the uplands. The programme covers nearly 850 square kilometres and 300 farms. 70% of it is SSSI or priority habitat. But even the white areas on these maps are really important for breeding waders in particular. Beyond the obvious large areas of peatland, most of the UK's species-rich upland hay meadows, and the Teesdale rare Arctic alpine flora. A major theme of Tees Swale is nature recovery, working at a transformational scale. We'll restore peatland and hay meadows, expand tree and scrub cover, create small wetlands on farms, manage rush cover for waders, address mine water pollution, and enhance rivers, starting with work on the greeter with the Tees Rivers Trust. In our development phase, we had detailed one-to-one -one engagement with 102 farmers, and lots of group sessions and taster activity. The big focus was on listening to the needs of farmers, and what they feel they can achieve, developing deliverable costed proposals, whilst at the same time building their ambition for nature recovery and ours. So here are Ray and Sue, they farm in Swaledale. And like all farmers we've engaged with so far, their tea swale experience starts with a visit from one of the team, who will listen to their aspirations and ambitions for their farm, their problems and their opportunities, and over a few visits, help them to come up with a nature-friendly enhancement program that works for them. So, beginning with meadow restoration, with Sue and Ray, we'll initially restore just three hectares of meadows using species-rich hay, hay harvested on the same day from nearby donor sites rich in yellow rattle and fine-leaved grasses. We've had great success at this work through our Hay Time and Nectar Works project since 2005. Together, we'll manage some of their rushy pastures for waders. We'll manage the extent of rush cover and create a series of wader scrapes, managing them so that they remain accessible for feeding, especially by chicks like this lapwing that you can see here. Moving on to woodland, we want to create a landscape richer in trees and scrub through both planting and natural regeneration, with an initial target of at least 200,000 trees. At Kexwith, we'll enhance three hectares of existing planting and also create eight and a half hectares of new woodland, planting over 10,000 trees in all. And all this is great on one farm, and we can all do that, but each one of the 102 red dots on this map is a one to one engagement. The blue area is the land they manage. We've signed agreements for works with 55 farmers so far. Imagine this on farm after farm across 300 holdings over five years. It's what a nature recovery network looks like. This is our Upper Teesdale Farmer Cluster, with over 20 farmers committed to working more together, learning more together, because building a nature recovery network is going to require much greater collaboration and trust than we've had in the past. And it's going to be built partly on peer-to-peer -peer learning and engagement. So we want to build the training and skills base amongst our farmers and our contractors. And training and skills is a crucial part of the t Swell programme. We'll be working on helping farmers to assess their habitats, monitor the impacts of their conservation efforts, and understand the public goods they deliver, all of which will be important in the new ELM. We're also working on boosting contractor skills and capacity, helping to support school and public visits, and looking at alternatives to intensification. There are going to be lots of opportunities to support volunteering and volunteer training, focusing in part on developing a team of volunteer botanists to support work on farms. We want to 
uh, support two-way exchange of learning and information between conservation staff and farmers, whilst we'll be creating 16 year-long traineeships. We want to reach new audiences. and We spent 18 months working with 48 different youth and community groups in places like Middlesbrough and Darlington. And we've worked at looking at the barriers to participation and how we can break those down. And together, we built a program of activities through Taster Days. We want to help more people engage with nature in different ways. And so we're running community art projects, creating new walking trails, including tramper trails and easy access routes. We've developed programmes for schools and have many schools signed up for these new educational activities. We'll be interpreting our nature and our landscape and our HMV farming in ways that meet the needs of different audiences and running public events. Building a nature recovery network at this scale, especially across multiple private land holdings, is currently unique. Farmers are willing to engage and they see what's coming down the line, but they need support. At the same time, they're wary of potential lost income the inflexibility of the RPA and uncertainty around Brexit and ELM. And we all know we need to do more to engage new audiences. t -Swell puts farmers and farming at the heart of nature recovery. It's at a transformational scale. It's about behaviour change and being future ready. It's about engaging new audiences and it's built on collaborations of all kinds. We think that T Swale is what a nature recovery network looks like. But our initial targets are just the beginning, and we hope we'll be able to do much more here and beyond to deliver nature recovery and to engage more people with nature.